San Francisco city skyline from Treasure Island now. Tonight, tourism experts say the big crowds in the city this Memorial Day weekend signal an upward trend in the economic recovery. Many businesses in the city report they had the best day today since the beginning of the pandemic. KPIX 5's Daw Lynn is live at Pearson with what it was like out there today. Hi, Daw. Hey, Juliet, it was packed. Just a lot of people. A couple of reasons, right? Memorial Day weekend, typically it's the unofficial start to the summer, and a lot more people are vaccinated, so, so they feel comfortable and safe to come out and spend their money. Oh, man, it's, it's exploding today. To be honest with you, I think it's even more crowded today than pre-pandemic, yeah. 14 months of pandemic lockdown mean a lot of people are itching to leave the house. It makes me feel, like, happy. It feels good. It feels good. Uh, you forget what was out there. It was hard not to bump into people. More people, more money, you know, it's just so it's... Uh, it's almost too much to keep up with, though. That's the. Uh, that's, a, that's a good problem. Yeah, I'd rather, I, I'd rather be. Uh, yeah, I'd rather be too busy than too slow, for sure. <laughs> From the street performers to the brick and mortar establishments, they needed this economic boost. Workers at the Wax Museum tell me they sold the most tickets today since reopening in March. 59. And there were long waits at most restaurants. We maxed out our reservations for today, and we're really looking forward to, to Sunday and Monday, seeing how, how much we can do. Vic Long manages two restaurants at Fisherman's Wharf. Not only are the tourists coming back, but we're seeing a lot of return business. A lot of customers were waiting for us to open. We're so lucky. He's so grateful to be reopened again, and it's, it's just wonderful to see the amount of traffic we have this weekend. The Fairmont shut down twice during the pandemic, but this Memorial Day weekend gives the hotel a taste of what's ahead. This is the busiest weekend we've had since last year, since the pandemic started. General Manager Marcus Treppenhauer says they have about 50% occupancy. You can see it. We have people in the lobby. The restaurant is full tonight. So I think it's exciting for us that there's truly life in the building, which this is not something we have seen in a long time. And there's optimism as health officials plan to lift almost all restrictions and reopen California on June 15. What you're seeing today is a lot of individual travelers. So we don't see groups yet. We don't see business travelers yet. So with the change into June 15th, what we're hoping yet is the widespread of travel. Uh, it's just a matter of time, I assume. So what are experts yeah. actually saying about how long it will take for many of these hotels to recover? Yeah, you just heard from Marcus. He's been doing this for many years, an expert, and he believes the process or timeline for the hotel industry, it's going to be gradual, possibly two more to return to the 2019 level. It's going to take more time for those weddings, business conventions, and other large events to come back to the city. It'll happen, though. All right, Daw, thank you.